on a sunny autumn day, Mykolaiv Zoo in South Ukraine feels so peaceful as if the visitors could leave the war behind its gate. The exposition of the rocket debris that has fallen here earlier and the sounds of distant explosions bring us back to reality. We are not far from the southern front line of Russia's war against Ukraine. The zoo remains one of the very few places open today for education and leisure for the residents of Mykolaiv. This is a wonderful place where you can get distracted from the war, relax, spend time with a child, entertain her, get her interested in things and teach her something. The kindergartens do not work now, so we are trying to keep learning as we can. To keep animals healthy under these circumstances, this zoo, one of the oldest in Ukraine, has had to overcome many hardships. It had to find a new source of drinking water for animals, provide them with food and medication despite serious logistical problems, and ensure the safety of the employees and visitors. We do not have fresh drinkable water in the city. The salty water from an estuary runs in the tap. We bring fresh water here for the animals to drink. Such containers and also bigger ones stand in each department. Its management says that today Mykolaiv Zoo exists exclusively thanks to the help of Ukrainian and foreign volunteers, the support of zoos from abroad and donations. People from different parts of the world buy online tickets to the zoo to support it. In wartime, the zoological garden is open at weekends. All the visitors we talked to said it's important for them to support the animals and this place they hold dear. For many, it brings back happy memories, time with now grown-up children or a first date. In our city, it is really like a historical landmark because the zoo is quite old. For us, it's very important that it continues to exist, to develop, that the plants, because it's also a botanical garden, and the animals all thrive, so that it would be like before, and even better. The zoo has also offered shelter to the pets that Ukrainians had to leave behind during evacuation. The most worrisome time for the zoo personnel is at night. That's when Mykolaiv is most often targeted by Russian rockets and drones. Every day saying goodbye, we hope that the next day we are going to see each other. That's our life today. As it's constantly terrorized by Russian missiles. The zoo team says it will do everything to keep the animals safe. But how tough will it be this time? Natalia Lubchenkova from Mykolaiv, Ukraine, for Euronews.